Your man don't get a good laugh very often, man. Last one I had from the soul was like Layton. It's good. I like it. It feels nice. <laughs> it's usually because of really cheesy shit. Descale! Yeah, she needs to turn into Descale when she reveals her true form. In one smooth God, motion. That would <laughs> be the best. <laughs> Somebody have the Descale fucking gif, man. For context for the chat. This shit's so good. I actually have a clip of it of someone streaming it that I have not turned Oh shit. Sorry, I'm going so slow, boys. Dude, Cactus, just play Layton. Just play Layton and get up to Layton 5. He's talking about this, I think. Oh, this? Oh, okay. That too, though. Play Layton 5 just to see the bullshit story at the end, at least. Oh, it's so good. It's amazing. One of the... <laughs> Sorry, I, I got cut off by the beautiful music. I'm speechless. <laughs> the fucking the keys, dude, he's tickling the ivories. <laughs> the, 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 the piano roll. Oh yes, dude. I have the sound really low too. Is what's so fucking. Yeah, dude, what a shame. You couldn't get a real just heartfelt laugh your first playthrough. I'm pretty sure this song never plays again. Oh, that's too bad. Maybe once. Ugh, oh, so beautiful. Dude, we're still talking about this shit. I have read like half of this. That's so fucking stupid. I mean, it's probably... It, this could be fucking, like, the, like, you know, purified into like, two paragraphs, man. The women must have been having a tough time as well after they had sent their husbands and sons to war. To war! Could have used a good laugh then. <laughs> Everybody could, man. What was he thinking on this song, dude? What was going inside the mind of Ryukishi? This is the, like the song he listens to when he writes those paragraphs at the beginning of each episode when he mouse over them. Where he thinks he's like the god of writing and emotion and like mystery difficulty. Like, it's so cheesy, it's, it has to be what he listens to. Ugh, the power. It's so powerful. Very high. I, can, I can't even hear go right now, it's so loud. The difficulty is very high. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking of. <laughs> yeah, dude. Many of them didn't make it home. MacArthur's GHQ plan, a grassroots awareness reform, and plan on, and worked on the discrimination. It was the dawn of an equal society. The villagers stood up to rebuild Hinamizawa. They started working to develop our village. Amazing. In the middle of that, a man who made millions on the black market came along. That was man's grandfather, Sonozaki Sohei. Now we get in. So, how does this lead up to why I killed these people? For fucking good God's sake, man. Oh, it's on me. Like, this is probably the worst Ryukishi writing I have seen. Like right here, everything else is gems compared to this, and it's great for it. I love it. It's. I'd rather have something mediocre. I mean, I'd rather not have something mediocre. I'd rather have it be hilariously bad or just great, like usual. Dude, it feels like Umineko was written by a totally different person. It does. I mean, I guess he wrote this in between, like, days on the job or work or whatever, but, like, it doesn't feel like that until, like, right here, man. I love it. As long as everything isn't like this, man, I love a good one laugh, like, one sh super shit part out of the whole VN. Oh, really? <laughs> oh my god. Is Rose Guns Days like that much World War II? I can't wait, dude. Was he in like in World War II? How old is fucking Ryukishi? Sure he's like a hundred fucking years old or something? I 
Why does he love it so much? Okay, thank you for the history of the... whatever. It's great! She's awesome! She... don't forget... Right now, before you get too into this emotional story... She burned a man alive, or a woman alive, and killed like four others, including her two good friends, man. Mia's legit, Rana's legitimately happy right now. You're kidding me. This is like surreal, dude. Oh my god. I know it's gotta be full of bullshit then fast, though. Oh my god, they ate humans! Dude, they ate booty? Pure booty. Straight from the fucking ass, my man. delaying sleep for this. I'm sorry. I'm going so slow. So it's pure. Mm -hmm. Unfiltered. Quality. <laughs> Quality Kino moment. Quality time. Lions. My war buddies. Yep, son of a baby. I have to read it just for the Ryukishi joke shit. I might do Hikambana after this. So I get more laughs, man. <clears throat> we could talk about him at his fucking lowest. Maybe Igmon 2 is great. I didn't hate the first one. But... My least favorite so far. Dude, we're still going, man. This is like the Final Fantasy 1 epilogue, dude. Like, what the fuck? Wait, my two then fuck. It's only like about eight, nine hours, man. I mean, I'll play some games in between, man. I'm not gonna play it right after this, but our next video, you know, give me like a week or two. Quality rabbit rate punchline. <laughs> Horrifying. Okay, wait. The unit seven three one. Research team of the old Japanese army. Blah blah blah. Well, you know, some three on the really intense intensely recent is a horrifying biological up between the tide of war. It's kind of kind of with the brains, but I don't know how it is. I think it's going to be a very small one. Until they die, they put on something that's such a visual separation in question. Okay. They found out organs would be pushed out of every pore of a human, including his intestines coming out of his anus like a serpent when they were decompressed. <laughs> Jesus, what vivid imagery. <laughs> what the fuck? What about the doll? The doll! <laughs> when we get to the fucking doll! And she's like, oh, and I killed them because of the doll. And then, like, this was all a side story. I'm just a history buff who likes killing. So, Unit 731 was real Nazi mad scientist here. Okay, I'm like, are they just telling me what's actually going on in the town right now? Is this going to be like a playoff of real history kind of thing? <sighs> Aren't you glad you got in some pub go before this? I am. I am.
あーあー Jesus fuck really they hit him with some propaganda the power of propaganda you, I'll eat fucking human beings if you hit me with enough of it. <laughs> you refine your, your comedic palette now, man. I mean, like, is this gonna go somewhere? Is this some kind yeah, of like, 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 conspiracy? Like, what's going like, on? Like, I still think she could explain everything in like a few paragraphs, but she wants the entire history. Like, this is what he meant when this was gonna be the history of this entire thing. Oh, this, this is just one passage right here. Dude, I don't... Okay. Okay, dude. I feel really bad for the Hinamizawa. It sucks, dude. Oh man, I want it to be like the first half of it's World War II. I want it to take place in like the future, like the far flung future, and then somehow have like full 20 hours of World War II talk. How it kind of jumps off of World War II to create it's to a future. During World War II. <laughs> yeah, well, 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 that's literally just him talking about World War II. American soldiers when they cry. <laughs> From the point of a historian in our time, though, I just wanted to just parrot history books. Doesn't even need to have a story, man. They have to try and explain every single battle with actual tactics instead of witches. <laughs> the most beautiful story of all human history. Yahoo! Specifically, World War II by Rikishi. Dude, are you fucking oh, yeah. still talking? <laughs> Please God, feed me. But I won't write about something interesting. If two people threw stones at you, four of you should fight back. Okay, so why did you kill everybody in your town if your town's supposed to help you? I get it. One billion, two billion, math, help, town, unity. I'm still waiting. I'm, I'm curious how she's going to tie this entire story in to this one, like, reason. I'm surely this entire thing, every bit of it, has a point. And isn't just random exposition with a link at the end to make it seem like it's important. <laughs> Imagine laughing, man. It's just this in real life, dude. At least she's sitting out there. At least she's out there, like, what the fuck is going on? Are they dead? Like, it's for like it's an like, hour. <laughs> hey, bitch, on the phone there. You killed all my friends, didn't you? And then the next day they show up and he's like, let me tell you about World War II. Well, let me tell you about the history of this part of Japan. And then they listen. Then Tanley, happily, Ren is like really pumped about this. Man. It's like they forgot why they're here. And Oishi's just out. What is it? Oishi? Are they, I imagine the entire precinct just listening outside with the omnidirectional mic. Just crying, man. In tears of this beautiful story. My guns throw their guns down. <laughs> so tragic. 
She was justified. Those eight-year-old girls were fucking wrong. The doll. Oh, the doll. The humans and demons decided to coexist. Shut the fuck up. Jesus, fuck. Are you fucking ki A cool breeze comes in and Mion's long, beautiful hair sways. <laughs> so fucking just beautiful, dude. So vivid and just, ah, oh, so much emotion, dude. I look at the, the sunshine on her, like one beam of light amongst the clouds. <laughs> and like, fucking... <laughs> she's playing the piano. He's in the back, dude. He gives her a wink and a point. She just like channeled his inner pasta mancer. <laughs> spewed out spaghetti all over his own story. <laughs> I imagine the entire cast of Higurashi walking out from behind the sliding door, like everybody is dead and everything, just holding arms and shit. And then it just That's ends. <laughs> it just ends like. Nobody actually died. Keiichi, we just wanted to tell you about Hinamizawa, and this was our plan. Hey dude, I mean, are, is the Yakuza like, killed everybody outside at this point? Notice how she's segued completely into a totally different topic. Yeah. This is like where you could see the amateur hour through Keiichi. He's like, I don't know how to fit in the entire history of Hinamizawa in and make it, you know, make a lot of sense. We couldn't just talk about it at school occasionally and just piece or it all together. It or put it in tips. Instead, I'm going to fucking put it at the most tense, dramatic time. All at once. To try to get a cheap emotional reaction out of you and in the process eliminating all atmosphere from the fucking end of the episode. Like, you could tell he cared so much about his World War II backstory of Hinamizawa that he had to have it at an important time, even though it would have worked way better anywhere else. Okay, dude. Demon, on your name. Who fucking cares? It's cheesy as fuck, dude. Okay. <laughs> I'm already a demon. <laughs> ah! A horn sprouts out of her head. She, like... She like shows the back of her ponytail. She like moves it out of the way. She got like a horn. Ah! Those aren't psyche tits, they're horns. My god. Thank you. You don't need to show us that, Mion. It's okay. We'll give you that. You know, thanks for killing our friends, but you don't need to take your clothes off. <laughs> you deserve that privacy. <laughs> the music, dude. It just randomly gets me when I'm not expecting it. Just this super loud, just horrible shit. I don't know if this would be as bad without the music. I mean, it definitely like takes it from like bad to like like hilariously bad. You know, it was necessary to make this actually enjoyable. Cool breeze washes away the hot, humid air in the room. It's a new day. I think we can all start over. I forgive Mion. We hold Dude, hands. The and problem go home. I have with Burn being edgy as fuck is that it came after a period where Burn was totally passive and didn't do shit. <laughs> Imagine watching from beyond the group. <laughs> I mean, I'd be mad for life, man. Ah! Like, Burn Castle was totally cool in episodes 1 to 4, and then episode 5 rolls around, she's like a fucking douche. Maybe she just That's wanted to try it like Neon did, instead of being nice and then evil. And then nice. Burn is just like, I'm just gonna be nice and then evil. I'm already a witch. I'm already a witch, Kate. Lambda. I'm already a witch. She's bearing an unimaginably heavy burden on her shoulders. Yes, five deaths. 
Did you forget? It's the whole history of Hinami's album. I mean, Onigafuchi. What can I say to it? Only the cry. Dude, what is all this, like, super fucking cheesy, artistic, like, symbolism and imagery they're trying to hit me with? Like, you can tell he really wants this to be, like, super beautiful, man. Like, this is so, so deep, so emotional. This was like, oh, he's like, oh, he's crying while he's writing it. It's fucking, like, this is my, my masterwork, my magnum opus, man. Episode two. He just went off the deep end. You can tell he just wrote this thing all like at once and he just fucking didn't even care. Okay, the series of past incidents. I believe what I did was right and I don't feel good. So how did we segue that into this? Does she just come back to this out of nowhere? Yeah. I literally, I literally had no point. What? Nani? Get fucked, idiot. Well, I I had, it it was literally pointless. <laughs> ah, they could have just told me in a fucking history book. The teacher in class could have told everybody. And then they could have hit him with a couple of the gruesome details. Like, Tomataki could have been like, hey, bro. Canned humans. <laughs> I fucking love this song. I want this song. I want to play it like on super high distorted volume like every time the stream starts or every time we have to turn it off. <laughs> so bad. She's super happy, man. Ah, oh, you go, girl. <laughs> Fuck those kids up, dude. Holy fuck, man. That part in the anime must have been a different episode, or they just said fuck this and just had them getting crucified in a fucking basement instead. I hope it was a rewrite, because it was a lot more interesting. I hope that the anime adapted this entire monologue into, like, two full episodes. That's one of the cores, dude. Like, <laughs> the entire, like, 12, 16 episodes. Oh, the cores, 13 episodes. 13 episodes of monologue straight. The Meon stories. The Meon chapter. Meon ever after. Did he... Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> All the sins she committed suddenly fade away in front of me. Oh, God. It's... I mean... Murdering innocent people... 8 to 13 year old little girls pure and innocent forgiven they had it coming forgiven they had it coming though. didn't you remember the history of Hinami's aunt? they had it coming obviously from that story you could tell she's carrying the burden she has to release the stress she's got so much stress dude you know like dude I'm under so much stress I can just, you can go kill people if you're stressed enough and be forgiven, man. That's how it works. Bitch, there's way more stressed out people. Fucking Christ almighty, dude. And Fasto wonders why I was hesitant about Umineko. <laughs> God damn, dude. I hope it's like this the whole way if it's like bad. I hope it's not mediocre. I hope it's just horrible every time they have an emotional thing. What's up, Ripper? Been missing some laughs, man. I don't say I'd forgive you if it was any other kid. Is that even a fucking the Queen's English? Does she mean I didn't say I'd forgive you if it was any other kids? But anyhow, okay. I was like, is she saying that if it was anybody else, it'd be okay? <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't, surely it can't be like this. I feel like it's, 
got to get better. No, it does not stay at this level of quality. This is like one of the lowest points. Which in turn makes it one of the best points so far. This episode would be kind of whatever if it wasn't for this one. Festa, how fucking long ago did you even play this? The lock, man. The lock. They should. They were right. They should die for that. She's right. She should have. That little eight-year-old girl. She should have lifted some weights. She should have put some grease on that big lock. My motives are very complex. She should have had Father Kimio. She come out and help her every time, man. If she wasn't dedicated. She should. She should be dead. Dedicated. Extra dedicated. <laughs> Extra. Dead. Okay. This literally all happened because a fucking lock was changed and a couple people saw some torture tools. Take responsibility, killer. The difficulty is moderate. <laughs> Clitzer. Everybody's coming in so late. Dude, I've been laughing so much from the heart. Especially when this scene started. This is one of the best scenes I've seen in anime. In, 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 in history, man. VNs and otherwise, man. It's so good. Ah, it's so fucking good. It's so fucking good, dude. Yukishi, the Natura, man. He's a fucking just an artist, man. He's so good. He's fucking crying, dude! Oh! Uh, oh! Uh, fucking sobbing. Lossy. Lossy. Oh. Me on Tarichi. She's like, she's got like a humble smile. She's like, humble smile, like, I know, I'm right, it's okay. I'll kill you two in a second. She's like, I was right. You were wrong. Like a smart ass little smile. He's literally blaming himself for the murder. It's like, it's not your fault. That you had the fucking capability to murder your own fucking friends for going into a fucking room and changing out a lock. Like, it's his fault, dude. He should have known. He should have known you had this darkness inside of you. <laughs> dude, this song, dude, go to the beginning of the scene, dude. It's, uh, I'm, I'm laughing so hard. It's so fucking amazing. Dude, if this was ironically bad... Then I love it. This is a good case for ironically bad. Fucking dog up. That's not a good case. This is purposely bad at its finest, if it's true. Man. They took all of the like compression that you would put into the narrative and took it out and expanded the narrative into a bunch of rambling bullshit about World War II. And then they took all that extra compression they had left and put it in the song. <laughs> That was a that was a good that was a ironic explanation. It was very long and it didn't make sense, and then all of a sudden it made perfect sense, just like the scene. Dude, watch this from the beginning. It's it's amazing. Like it's fucking surreal. 
You gotta Kino. have the context for this. Like, Kino. so, let me explain, because a bunch of people just came in. So, okay, where do we even fucking start? Uh, so, five people are dead. One burned alive. One clawed his own back out. Two of them make a clip of it. It's the whole scene, though. We've been on it for, what, 23 minutes? I could clip maybe me laughing or something. Basic assumption here is Mion killed at least three people. Including her childhood friend, like very important friends. Because duty. Yeah, and like, so she killed all of these people. And so they're going to come here to confront her. And before this, he found out she was masquerading as Shion. Oh, she killed her own sister too. And she was masquerading as Shion over the phone. And so he called her out on it in a fit of autistic fucking retardation. And so he should already be scared for his life. So he decides to come here with Rena to confront her on murdering all these people. The police are surrounding the area, but they're like 10, 20 miles away. And like, so it's, it's really tense. You're like, dude, these people could be dead at any moment. It's so stupid that they're there. And then when they do get there, we have a fucking 30 minute conversation about World War II and all of her motivations, which we never get into her motivations until just now. And it's like, it's mind boggling with like this music. And she just goes on this monologue about the history of Hinamizawa. And like, she just killed all of these people. Like, and he's like forgiving her. Like it's, it's fucking unreal it's surreal i'm like watching like a fucking all of twin peaks like in one fucking condensed like fucking surreal ass moment here yeah world war ii like straight up she oh. was rambling fit about world war ii world, yeah world like, war ii canned <laughs> human meat <laughs> that was <difficult. laughs> <You're> like... <laughs> oh it's so good like how the unit 731 in the japanese army developed like canned human meat and that's how they Hinamazawa, like, the Sonozaki family got all their wealth. Fucking fast. <laughs> oh, it's it's amazing. It's worth watching, the whole thing. I mean, it's ungodly. Like, this is fucking one of the worst things I've ever fucking read. Which makes it amazing, because of the music. It's just the context. It's just like, it's a super keen idea. It just doesn't make sense. And there's all this like super vivid imagery. Like the wind flew through her hair and like he's crying and he forgives for all of her. She's got such a heavy burden and you know, the sunlight and the fucking cool breeze and all this shit. And you're just like, are you fucking kidding me? And then this fucking music. It just, this just shows you how fucking bad the writing is. Like the music's so ironic and how shitty it is. It just matches perfectly. But Riki, she was like, he just went on for like an hour and thought he made this just beautiful piece of fucking work here. It's amazingly horrible. I have to keep going. I have to keep going. <laughs> dude, that Greg video is so good, dude. Uh, I laughed pretty hard on that. I was dying. We gotta combine them. We gotta put Ace Attorney into this. <laughs> yeah. Gregor Rashi. Gregor Rashi. That's what Greg to kick in. I have a theory. The heart, the soul, we are one. No, they each say that and then they combine powers and she's forgiven for all sins. So you gotta think right now. So Oishi, one is using him as bait, which is insane that he's using, he's literally sending two children in to bait a murderer out because he can't get a warrant. But he's already breaking the rules by being there with his whole squad. He's sitting out there with an omnidirectional mic for like an hour. Like just, he says he can hear their screams. There's no he might not be able to hear them talk. And she's, he's not, he's not here. He's not busting in. I'd be like, dude, it's been like an hour. They're dead. I should go in now. And he's just waiting. They're just all sitting out there. I was saying earlier, I imagine they're just like, just crying together out there listening to this. I'd fill the rooms with tears. I'd atone for my sin. She's like, that's right, Keiichi, it's your fault. I should 
should have saved my friends even if I had to throw everything away. Really? A little late for that. She's not even gonna go crazy? She's doing this with like a clear mind at the end of the day? Dude, if you can find me that fucking video, I'd love to watch it, man. If you have it on tap. I hope there's an attorney, Ace Attorney Online video somewhere where someone says something in red and just like shits on the prosecution. <laughs> yeah. Classic Greg, dude. The heart, the soul. In red. Say it in red. <sighs> Dude, Ace Attorney with red text would be fucking god dear. Oh, that would be funny as fuck. Nobody would ever be able to handle it, man. It'd be so difficult. Alright, man, I appreciate it. Yeah, anybody, I, ever, I recommend going back to the beginning of the scene, I don't know, like 30 minutes ago at least. It's got a pretty obvious jump into here, and this room is... When you're there in this room, that's a... It's great. Yeah, I started episode 5. I'm gonna get chunk into it. I'm... At the part where Battler jumps out of the window like a fucking madman. I've been going pretty slow. I've been playing... Kaz. Oh, good. I'm already a demon. I will keep doing episode 5 these weeknights more consistently. I'm so hungry now too. I went up sleeping in so late because this was so worth it. I think I would have turned it off, man. Oh. I, I need to be here. I don't care if I have to go out of bed <laughs> my phone. I'm going to see this shit through. It's so stupid. It's so good. Is there any way out? We'll help you get out, Mion. Ride me like a horse. I'll fight the police. Even on my direction of Mike, I'll just scream really loud and hurt their ears. <laughs> it's like... That she's not even being crazy right now. What's the point in this shit, dude? It feels like a fucking sideshow. Yeah, I'm sorry. I stopped a while ago because I was feeling like I was about to pass out, and then all this happened, and I feel invigorated again. But I can't start it when I go back up. I gotta do this, man. I gotta watch this. <laughs> Her last wish. Alone time with K-Chan. Please fucking just murder this man, silly. It's gonna be a stupid talk about her femininity and all that bullshit. Like, da da. Da -da. Dude, fast! I asked you earlier. Maybe you didn't hear me over the music. When did you play Higurashi? You said Young You. That midi fucking sax, baby. Yes. What do you say? Would you like some alone time with a fucking mass murderer? Sure. <laughs> but no, I'm already a demon. How many years ago did you play Higurashi? How many years ago did you play Higurashi fast? Okay. God damn it, fucking god damn it, I can't talk loud enough. Over this right. fucking piece of shit music. I have to turn you down randomly, you're probably I didn't expect this, so I should turn you back up. Uh, the AC. A cool breeze runs through Katie's hair. All sins Dude, are forgiven. I don't know how you didn't remember this shit if it was only four years ago. This is like... Something you don't forget. Uh, I'll never forget this. I forget a lot of things because we go through so much shit, but this is... Timeless. I'm the reason. Is she- is he the reason? Would they have just not gone anyway? 
I like how... I like how they fucking... Like in a court of law, they would not- they'd be like, dude, you're not guilty, I'm sorry, you're a fucking retard, dude. This dude's a fucking potato, man. Fuck. She even set me free from the sin. I walked in the fucking room. God damn it, not in the room. Dude, is she fucking Jesus Christ? They could just replace her name with Jesus, and it, the scene would make more sense. He has to share Mion's burden equally. <laughs> so good, dude. Mm, so good. It'd be amazing if this whole thing was- he, she just went crazy and killed him. That'd be so fucking great. But he cares way too much about this scene, probably. You're probably just bored fast. Like, uh... Take care of her. She needs taken care of, man, for sure. What she did is nothing but a felony. She murdered people, yes, through peer pressure and tradition, but murder should trump those things, man. Like, basic human morality. Like you. Dude, he's, he's too smart. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe we're just too stupid, man. We don't get it. We don't have a high emotional level. High enough level of emotion. What do they call it? Emotional IQ, man? It was social pressure, dude. Dude, if you guys are like, dude, KD, kill your roommates. Do it. Kill them. I'm not in the wrong. It was pressure. And then I'd explain to the police that my great-great-grandpappy was in World War II, and then it jumped to my Twitch chat, pressured me to murder, and all is forgiven. Like, it just doesn't make sense. I think it's supposed to be like, he wants his friends still to seem like the good old guys. But he already made them seem evil in the first one, so like, why are we trying to make them sympathetic villains or some shit? Why did Mikchan have to become a demon? Not a single tear for his other friends, just for the murder. Oh my god. Is Dude, he they're really romancing her? Like, not even six months ago. He's fucking going to romance this bitch, man. After all of this. Take my arm, sweetie kins. I might murder you. Let's go. Just kidding. To the death chamber. You wanna go see. You want. Let's go see Rika. Let's go see. Let's go see Shion. Sotoko. That's right. Satoshi. I'm gonna say it's Satoshi so much like that, it's gonna be disgusting. When he appears. Mamma mia, that's a spicy Satoshi. Satoshi, Satoshi. No, I expect you to murder Keiichi when you take his arm like that. What the fuck is this scene, dude? It's like she fucking, like. Like, killed somebody's, like, cat or something, dude. Like, it just the, the gravity. Like, it's like layers of retard, like, folding in on itself. Like, <laughs> for him to confront her on the phone was already retarded. For him to then go directly to her 
while not having the police there was retarded. The police waiting outside is retarded. Them listening to her talk about World War II for like five years is retarded. Him agreeing to be alone with her is so incredibly retarded that it transcends the previous retardations and makes them look genius by comparison. Oh, This yeah. is the stupidest possible thing anyone could ever do in this situation. I mean, we were shooting no on him it. on the phone call. I was like, this is insane. On the phone call. I mean, he literally looks like Albert Einstein <laughs> compared to this. Uh, like, it's insane, dude. Like, this... The gravity of everything happening. Oh, she unloved you too. <laughs> Before you killed her, right? Look Your own sister. Your twin sister. The bright side here. The music stopped. The music's still there. But it doesn't have the explosion part. It's got the same piano. Somebody needs to fucking mod Higurashi so that the only music that plays for the entire thing is just that. <laughs> that track. song, dude, no matter what. Yeah, Every scene would be so track. funny, dude. What is she getting? What is she talking about? You have a dominant hand, there's a superiority and inferiority. If you had only one minute to grab a hot skill, you'd wear it in your dominant hand, right? What the fuck are we? This is the shit I'm talking about, boys. Cut the fucking bullshit out of your fucking writing, dude. No, this is totally fine. Keep going. Am I missing something? It's a metaphor. What hand is he talking about? What the hell? Did I miss something? Yeah. I, this, she said something about the, his right and his left hand. Does he mean the twins? They were hardly that close to him. To be his fucking no his hands not to him to who it's just in general they're like a right and left hand is what she's saying him and his her sister no she and Mia. oh that's it oh but who's the body sonazaki family i guess they're just saying that oh, okay. there's a dominant hand and that's like the family head, which is me on. Okay. Why don't they just say it? Just say that. They, they did say it. But cut the fucking pan shit. No. Go to cut dude, the pan shit. Dude, you can complain about so much stuff right here. That's not something you can complain I, about. I guess so, but it's just like annoying. Dude, she's literally taking him on a fucking... I think about half the kind of question the hand motive for. Well, I didn't catch what the hell the beginning of it was. I'm questioning everything, dude. It's all stupid. The death march. She could have just been like, dude, like I had a prominent place and she didn't, so we were fucking... Treated differently, yabba dabba do. But more importantly, we're going into the fucking woods with her now. Yeah, dude. Like, gonna fucking make out. He's just gonna walk off the property into the fucking woods. Yeah, dude. Where the police can't reach you. Like, if the police could reach you, they would interrupt your date. Literal quote. It's a huge force. <laughs> like, I mean, come on, dude. They could just. Ugh. Oh man, she's still alive. I've been thinking about how to kill her brutally, so I've kept her alive. Oh. 
Well, that's better. She's stroking her head. Uh, I can't even be surprised anymore. I was thinking about how to kill Xion brutally, too. Hmm. She's still fighting her demon and saved two. She saved two lives, boys. Don't forget, she put them there, but she saved them. Because she hasn't killed them yet, man. What is this backwards ass fucking logic, man? The power of Ryukishi. I guess, dude. So hungry. She's going to fucking pussy out and kill herself instead of getting real justice? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? And he's like, it's okay. Dude, Mion's totally the best girl. <laughs> dude, I don't... What are you talking about? I mean, she's not even crazy right now. This is real shit, dude. Like, I don't know, man. I'll never forget this moment. It's always gonna... Yeah, Rika's best girl now. Honestly, she better than Reina. Mion. Reina. Okay. Well, Reina's really stupid for this, but she's Reina. decent. <laughs> she... <laughs> Reina can come back easily. Mion. Mion? I don't know about Mion, though. Mion the best. Mion! Nobody's even crazy anymore. What the fuck is going on, man? She was crazy just has for... She was crazy when she was shaking the fucking... No, when she was talking with the school and when she was shaking the light out of it. And probably when she killed people off screen. Dude. So the police cannot hear him in a deep tunnel in a fucking deep forest. He even says there's blind spots everywhere. Uh. It's so good. It'll never change. I will tell you as many times as you want. You're my best friend. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like he could get, like, in legal trouble for fucking being so okay with this shit, dude. Like, he's almost a fucking accomplice, man. I'm being, like, a fucking ward, dude. A sanity ward. Oh, he might throw up. Oh, God. What a fucking man, dude. He's so fucking ready. Dude, did he really write this line? I don't understand human feelings, because I'm just a demon now. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? What the hell? Is this like a different... Is this, am I supposed to think this is a different person entirely? Or does she think she's so, like... Katie. Uh, ascended. Katie. Got to Oh my god. Like she thinks she's so like ascended, man. Like what a bitch. What a fucking pussy running away from everything. I'm a demon. I'm gonna go kill my shit. Blah, blah, blah. Dude, do we need this line? <laughs> my fucking pet crab. It smells like my fucking dying pet crab. <laughs> Dude, we do. <laughs> do we really need this? Like, yeah. even like, it smells like fucking rotting meat and shit. Yeah. Shit. 
<laughs> Dude. If he didn't have the crab line. Like, he could literally just say it smells fucking horrible. Like, oh, we've all had that moment, right, boys? Where the dead crab was rotting. Like, you can't even relate to this. Mama fucking Mia, dude. It just never ends. Wait, what did I just click? Oh, click save? Oof. Please kill him down here, dude. That would be so good. Just destroy him after all this. That would actually make it, like... Partly, like, redeemable. <laughs> I think it was so bubbly just so that you could have a bigger twist, like... Dude, is she going on about history again? The second 30 minute lecture. Yeah. She's, Let me get in on a history of torture and torture instruments. Okay, this is a secret place to do the ritual. He's coming here of his own free will. This is my best friend. <laughs> but first, we need to talk about World War II. <laughs> Would you like to learn about how torture was used in World War II by the Japanese? Let's let's find out. <laughs> I love Miyama. She's the best. This is the cheesiest shit ever. Are you kidding? I had one guest. Me as a demon. <laughs> Come on, man. It's fucking pathetic now, man. Like, this is so shit. So she killed there alone. Like, she could have just saved them. But she, like, nobody's even there to pressure her. And she's 